80 km per h is deceptively fast. Think about this. When you're comfortably seated in your car, cruising down the highway, 80 km per h doesn't asterisk, feel asterisk all that speedy. That's because you're cocooned in a couple of tons of well-engineered metal, foam, and conveniences. But let's frame it in a different context. If you've ever stood by the side of a road as cars zoom past at 80 km per h, it feels much faster. There's a whoosh of air that might make you step back a little. The vehicles become a blur, and any thoughts of stepping out into that traffic evaporate instantly. 80 km per h translates to roughly 50 miles per hour. In most places in Portland, Oregon, where I live, that's well over the speed limit in urban areas, and is relegated to highways and interstates. It's enough to get you a hefty fine if you're caught doing it in a 30 miles per hour zone. To put 80 km per h in even more perspective, Usain Bolt's world record speed is about 27.8 miles per hour. In his prime, he barely crossed half our 80 km per h threshold. Certainly swift for a human, but on the road, he wouldn't even be in the running, so to speak. And if you're on a bicycle, let's not even talk about 80 kmh. It's a speed most cyclists wouldn't dream of reaching, unless they're hurtling down a steep hill with a death wish and a very good helmet. So, when it comes to the question of how fast is 80 km h, it's fast enough to cover a significant distance in a short time, warrant caution, and respect the rules of the road for safety's sake. Always buckle up and drive responsibly at that speed, because at 80 km per h, things happen quickly, and reaction times are crucial. Remember, speed is relative. In one setting, it's a leisurely highway pace. In another, it's dangerously brisk. Context is everything.